Hi. Good morning. <laughs> Here's another edition of Book Scoop. Yeah. Um, I will shortly talk about After Oz, a new um, adult fiction. And I have Everything We Never Had, which is a young adult fiction. But first, we're going to talk about a few things at yeah. the library. Um, starting September 25, we will have four Wednesday morning sessions for adults in becoming more computer literate. Um, com the, um, the first Wednesday is computer skills. Then there will be something about streaming your on TV and on the your second computer, Wednesday. On the mm -hmm. second Wednesday, mm -hmm. and then both classes will be repeated. Mm -hmm. um, so if you can, if you want to do both, and you cannot do the first two weeks, you can do the second two weeks or the mm -hmm. first week and the fourth week. You can come to <laughs> both classes twice. Uh, who cares? Oh yeah, yeah. If you yeah, need you extra can just repeat help. it. Sure. Um, there are from ten thirty till eleven thirty on Wednesday mornings. Mm -hmm. More information is on the website. Right. Yes. Um, on Sept Friday, September 20th, we have our first uh, Sweet 60 and Up for the fall winter season. Um, we're excited. We have um, a craft activity using leaves to make art. We're also going to make homemade mac and cheese. And um, so the first hour from 1 to 2 p.m. is for anyone 60 and over. And then the second hour from 2 to 3 p.m. we have the Elderly Brothers live in concert. And anyone can come to that. It doesn't matter how old or young you are for that one. And then the next day on September 21st, we have our first ever sensory story time. Um, we're really looking forward to... Um, being able to offer this. It's at 1030 in the morning. Uh, the theme is going to be animals. All children of all abilities um, and interest are welcome to come and um, check out story time with their caregivers. Um, we'll have some um, engaging stories and songs um, and activities and then some sensory play and activities for the end. Um, so if you have any questions, you can get a hold of us at the library but you don't have to register for either of those programs. So just come and show up. Mm -hmm. We'll have some fun. Yes. All right. And then here is After Oz by Gordon McAlpine. Um, this is a lovely book. Um, it starts when um, Dorothy comes back from Oz. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's a murder investigation because when she comes <laughs> back, someone has been killed in the village and Dorothy is the prime suspect. Mm -hmm. Um, you get in the book, the view from the villagers and then the view of someone who starts to investigate this. She is not a police person. She is, um, a psychologist and, um, uh, uh, you follow um, uh, how the how the village reacts to what she does and the ideas she comes with. Um, up until a <laughs> a an unexpected um, uh, uh, solution of uh, who actually committed the murder in the end, <laughs> um, and then you have to find out <laughs> if justice will be served or not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, one thing I want to mention in this book is that um, there's a train mentioned um, in the book uh, and it, it is part of the, of the mystery. And they say in the book that the train arrived uh, at 3.37. And I thought, what nonsense. <laughs> this book is in 1890. Right. Uh, trains didn't run at that time. So I did some research and I was wrong. <laughs> I I found out that trains did run that, on that specific of of a a time schedule, schedule yeah. uh, even then when mm -hmm. I thought, you know, time just was be, just, you know, right. 12 o'clock or 12.15, <laughs> whatever. No, because there's a on the Library of Congress website, there's a, a train schedule for Lincoln oh. when he was the president-elect. And there's times like 824 arrival and 907 departure. <laughs> so, yeah, they did wrong trains yeah. at that time. So, um, but that's just my silly um, <laughs> little personal, extra piece. Yes. <laughs> so, after Oz. And I read Everything We Never Had. It's by Randy Ribe. Um, who is a Filipino-American author. Um, and it wasn't until I started it that I realized, oh, I've read something of his before. Um, but this book is set in four different time periods. It follows four 
generations of men in the family. So the first is 1930, and that's Francisco. And then um, in 1965, his son Emil is based in Stockton, California. And then in 1983, his son Chris is in Denver, Colorado. And then in 2020, his son Enzo is in Philadelphia. Um, and so it, each of the men have different sections and it goes back and forth between the timelines. And you, um, and no one has a good relationship here. The fathers and sons do not really get along. Um, and you see from their point of view why they make the decisions they make. Um, a lot of times it's because they're trying to not do the same things that their father did that they didn't appreciate. Um, and you get some closure, but not in everything. You still wonder how did, how did things end up? Because of course it ends in 2020. Um, and so you have the COVID pandemic as part of that also. Um, the last two, um, Enzo and his father, Chris, um, you do see some growth there. Um, and that's satisfying, but, um, it's a very good book, especially if you've had rifts in your family, you know, um, I think you can definitely relate to this, or maybe, you know, someone who does, and you can, um, kind of see why people make the decisions that they make. Um, not necessarily that they're the right decisions, but why they make the decisions that they make. It was a very good book. Um, an easy read, um, but very good to see the dynamics in a family over many generations. That was also interesting that it went back to the 1930s. So, yeah, yeah, it's not always easy to accept that everybody does the best they can do with what they have. Right. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. None of the fathers at any point thought that they were doing it to be difficult. They were doing it to try and make it better for their son. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, yeah, that's not how it turned out for everyone. No. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so Everything We Never Had by Randy Ribe. All right. That's it. We'll see you next time. Come to the library. <laughs> Bye.